Here we have the 2020. This is the RX 350 F Sport Series 2. So you're gonna get the alloy rims, fog lights with turn lights down at the bottom, signal lights in the front, or signal lights in the mirrors, and then you get the rain sense, rain washing headlights, front sensors and rear sensors in the car, 20 inch alloy wheels. It's got uh, blind spot monitoring just in the mirror here. And then interior wise, it's got the nice brushed aluminum finish with the red leather interior. It's kind of a two-tone leather. It's got the door sill protectors, nice large glove box, power passenger seat. Uh, they're heated and cooled seats. And then you get the same thing in the rear here. You get the USB down below with heated seats. These are folding seats and they recline back. So lots of room to get storage in the back. It's got a sunroof just over the front seats. And then in the back you do get the full power lift gate. It has the rear sensors, like you mentioned there too. Comes with the tonneau cover, lots of cargo space. You do get the, uh, the all season mats and the carpet mats come standard. You can fold the seats down from there. Now this one just has a backup camera, um, as well as the sensors, but not a 360 camera. Uh, you're gonna get the memory seats, <clears throat> automatic headlights, automatic high beams, heated steering wheel. You get the power driver's seat, and then your memory seats are tied to the uh, seat steering wheel and the mirrors, because um, it's power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Uh, you get push button start just down below here. And then it's got all your uh, configurations on the left with the sport mode and everything. Um, speed and instant speed through there with rpms now if you you do have eco normal sport and sport plus so you have eco gives you better fuel economy normal which will be a combination of eco and sport and then you're gonna have sport gives you a little more horsepower a little boost in power and changes how it shifts and sport plus that'll change how um, the suspension behaves while it's shifting there as well uh, it is dual climate control uh, you get USB charging ports underneath here, and you get the two in the middle that also work as data ports for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And then your touchpad here controls the whole screen. As well, it is a actual touch screen that you can use too. Comes with navigation, AM, FM, CD, and satellite radio come standard on top of Bluetooth and Apple CarPlay. And then you get the SOS button just up in the roof here to call Lexus to uh, for roadside assistance and things like that. And then rear view mirror with your garage door openers underneath. And you get lane departure alert, radar cruise with pre-collision system with automatic braking and warning. And what I will do is I'm just going to show you the F Sport 3 differences now. One second. Okay, so F Sport Series 3, wireless charging pad underneath. This is a different car. Wireless charging, charging pad underneath. Uh, it's got Mark Levinson upgraded sound system. And you get visibly from the outside, the car looks exactly the same, except you're gonna get the front camera Cameras under the mirrors for the 360. Bird's eye view that I'll show you. And then it has the panoramic sunroof instead of just the one in the front. So that's a full sunroof in there. <clears throat> and then of course down here, the other difference is they are folding seats, but they're power folding. And then in the back, as long as you have the key on you, the F Sport 3 gives you the ability to kick underneath and it opens the trunk
So it has the, the basically the kick sensor there too that works. Um, trunk space, exactly the same, except you have the power folding switches instead of the manual folding. <clears throat> and starting it up, everything's exactly the same. Except up in the sunroof here, you will have the shade that power opens the sunroof. And then normally on the F-Sport 2, you'll just have backup camera, F-Sport 3. Not only do you have the backup camera, just like the F-2, um, but you get the 360 camera. <clears throat> that kind of gives you a top view of the vehicle. And then in drive, um, you'll have the view button here. That'll turn on the front camera, which you can turn on so it comes on automatically with the auto button here. So when you're under 10 kilometers an hour, that will turn on. And then the last thing that you get with an F Sport 3, when you look up on the windshield, you do get the uh, heads up display. That'll show you your instant speed, what song's playing, compass, turn by turn navigation, I believe goes up there too. And that would be your main difference. So it's Mike Linterman here at Lexus South Point. Love to help you. Subscribe and like below if you have any questions. And like to see more. Thanks for watching.